Hola, como esta? How's everyone doing today? We are filming here, live, in Kingston, Jamaica. You want me to prove it? There we go. More proof. There we go. Alright, the topic of this video today is about reaction videos. Now I know that seems to be the trend. That seems to be the hot take, so to speak. Um, however, I notice with most of these videos, they take the liberty of claiming uh, some sort of copyright claim, meaning you know they're using it for either educational or I'm assuming comedic uh, purposes. Um, I believe religious uh, usage also runs under that blanket. The issue that I have with a lot of reactionary content is most of these contra uh, content contributors, so to speak, don't really cite their sources because a lot of these channels kind of pose or at least impersonate uh, journalism by because they're always doing some sort of hot take or or whatnot or anything and they they use it they use other people's intellectual property under the guise of oh well educational purposes and you know religious purposes and maybe comedic purposes and then the ad roll comes in <laughs> You probably are thinking, well, why is he discussing all this stuff or whatever? Well, because I used to work in music royalties. And there is a bundle of rights contained in copyright um, for monetary purposes. <clears throat> and I see that a lot of these content creators kind of skew and sort of misinterpret the definition of fair use. Fair use usually runs under the guise of only educational purposes, religious purposes, or for parody or comedic, you know. Um, if you reach out to a, that's why YouTube usually uh, throws out copyright strikes. Because again, intellectual property, which is, for example, music, uh, usually there, there is the recording the person that owns the recording, usually the record label, and then there's the writer, the person that, you know, arranged it, put it together, and then wrote down some words. Now, when that intellectual property, and I use that word a lot because that's exactly what it is. It's ideas formulated on format or paper or instrumentation. Um, you are awarded with that creative process a bundle of rights. You get to dictate who gets the use it and you know and or profit from it whether you donate your you know your art to a record label that sponsors it or a studio that finances it or whatever they attain that bundle of rights that's why you get things like copyright strikes um and i'm surprised that with reaction content you know youtube hasn't really kind of stepped up that game or whatnot because a lot of these creators don't cite their the source material. It just seems like they're kind of, you know, source farming, TikTok, using literally someone else's physical intellectual property, and then just kind of adding their little shtick or hot take to it or whatever, which has always <laughs> confused and puzzled me, um, especially under the different uh, the uh, the differentials and the, the the levels of copyright. Anyway. As far as uh, my time here in Jamaica, um, oh, I should probably include some sort of B-reel or something like that. So we'll cut the video to do, to show something.
Happy? Awesome. Anyway, um, Jamaica's great. It's a little toasty out here. However, um, people are really great here. Um, yeah. I'll probably, sh I'll probably include some more stuff about that or whatever, but yeah. I'm actually here in Jamaica, chilling in my room or whatnot. I gotta check out in a few hours and, uh, I guess move in across the street. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to get out today, tonight, this morning, whichever. Anyway, as always, be good to yourselves. Stay sane. Stay awesome. Peace out. Oh, please shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, please shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, please shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, please shut up. Shut up. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up.